This is a great view of this end of the sewing machine. That was the alarm telling me it's time to put the hash browns in the oven. This is a, you know, boots on the ground shot. This is how this area actually looks here. On the ground, what's on the machine is different than what's in the book. Because here is the, the axle or the spindle for the electric motor right there. There is the large screw up there that keeps the stitch length regulator lever in place. But I don't have this screw and bushing down here. What I have is these two screws, no bushing, very clean, very simple, nothing to deal with. But when I refer back to the page here to remove, you know, removal to replacement of hand wheel and flange bushing. Now the flange bushing is what controls the power to the needle bar, well, to the horizontal arm shaft, like to the needle bar or not. So essentially every, the power goes to the horizontal arm shaft. Yes, right. So that's the deal there. There's a beautiful shot of the big screw that keeps the stitch length regulator lever. And, and we did, we put that together back last video and it's working fine. I checked it again this morning. So that's where I'm at right now. I want to reinstall or replace the hand wheel and the bobbin winder correctly. So I'm working out of the book, specifically reading the instructions. This is the pulley that goes on the motor spindle right here. And that is actually what I'm cleaning right now because this is my chance to do it. So I've got some oil, which is my favorite cleaner. I've got a steel brush. Here I've got a brass brush, which is a softer than, but you know, just even that, it maybe have, now it's coming clean and it's not as discolored as it was. Let me turn that. But the important point is that it is now lubricate. And this was already, this was already lubricated. You can see I got oil on it still. This is a learning tutorial and I am learning. Let me loosen this. Let me learn how to loosen this. It's slippery with the oil. So there's a groove here on this spindle, on that axle, and that's where that set screw needs to sit. So it sits right there. I'm not convinced that it sits like that. It could, that would make sense. But for now, I actually prefer that, subjectively speaking, but objectively, I'm just gonna put it on like that right now with the set screw lined up to go on in that ground out portion right there close to the end here. So let me do that. There, just manipulating it on there. Now it's on there a little bit snug. Now it's on there snug, it's not moving anymore. So it's out of the way. So I'm not gonna be able to lose that. The other thing I'm gonna do while I have it open and accessible is I'm gonna give it a light oil wash just to remove some of the dust and uh, some of it has already come off just doing what we've done. But let me just do that and then I'll get my brass brush and rub that oil. So now I'm gonna wipe that down. Then I'm gonna proceed with getting the wheel on. You know, the first swipe stuff. But it already is looking a lot better than it just was. Of course, the star of the show is the, the magnificent hand wheel. And speaking of that magnificent hand wheel, here it is right here. So we'll give this a, a little bit of an oily wipe down. I'll get some oil off this part of the machine because that's where I just wipe off the excess a little bit anyway. I'll wipe that. I particularly want to get in there where the belt goes. So I'm gonna have to clean this, really clean this separately, like wash it and dry it and then put it on. So why don't I do that? Likewise, these pieces are also going to get a quick brushing to to knock the dirt down, knock the dirt off, and a light oiling. And I'll make especially sure that I put some oil in this set screw here for the for the nut to turn it there. And I've sunk that screw in there. So we've got some nice good oil on there. Let me wipe off there because we've got way more than we ever need. And that is ready to go on. And then this piece, I'm just going to give it a, a little dabble do of oil. Oh my, not uh, 
low grade maintenance it's easy maintenance wash and oil you know scrub and clean and there that's let me move that out of there alrighty anytime we're dealing with electricity and water which we are because I got the hair dryer here which is like thousand watts or whatever so it's hot so that does not go with that there is the strainer to for the drying portion after they come out of the soapy water because this hair dryer is high wattage like 1800 to 1200 watts i'm also using safety gloves which are the oven mitts and these oven mitts will allow me to hold the the strainer underneath you know like that or to actually hold the strainer while i'm spraying the the air the hot air all over the parts in the strainer getting dry so i just want to stress water electricity and heat protect your hands protect your knees um, heat can burn usually by the time we feel it it's too late it's already burnt anyway having said that here is the part and it's going to take the deep dive right on ski now where's my cloth i did bring a cloth in here it's on my shoulder so all i'm doing here is just efficiently washing this and this is dishwashing liquid uh, that i buy in the grocery store my local grocery store where i do my shopping and i'm making sure that i get in that groove where the where the the belt goes likewise at the back there are regions in there and you know i'm just gonna wa i'm just washing this I'm not going to sandblast it or, you know, refinish it or whatever. So it's very, very minimal. So I have that out. I want to get rid of that cloth for a minute. I can put it right there, I do believe. Let that sit there for a second. And I'm going to get this water out of here right now. Move it right out of the way. And now I'm going to get my mitts, my oven mitts. And I will edit this drying out of the video you'll hear like two seconds at the beginning and one second at the end and on to the next clip here we go so there it is set correctly now and the uh, lock washer it was an inning so when i turn it to the turn the lock washer here to the right it engages and allows the sewing machine to to sew there we go now when i turn it to the to the left it loosens the, it disengages the horizontal arm shaft and needle bar and it's just hanging there while I play with uh, the hand wheel. So that is where, where I'm at now. Back there I still got to get the cover on. I still got to get the belt on and I'm not going to touch the motor for now. I'd like to get back down to the hook after I get um, the needle bar set up down there so that I, you know, it's stitching correctly after all the stuff that we've been doing here these last two or three uh, videos. All right, here's the flange bushing. And when this machine is all put together, like with the hand wheel and the lock washer and the um, adjusting nut, this is like a mechanical light switch. When it's turned to the right, it, it, it stops, it locks, kind of stiffens up and locks in position, sort of, tightens up, and the needle bar and the horizontal arm shaft are engaged and they are, they are in action and working. When it's turned to the left, it disengages. So it's just like a light switch, except it's mechanical instead of electrical. If you flip it to the right, it's on. If you flip it to the left, it's off. And when it does go over to the left side, and that is not stitching, not in service, this is quite loose. But I'll show you what I mean once I get it all together. So, so that's the deal on, uh, on that. So I'm going to start putting it together here. Now I'm going to put the, the hand wheel on and I want to show you that in order to put the hand wheel on correctly, the hand wheel has to slide all the way up here to this, to this abutment here, to this rise here. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I have greased it because it's really close tolerance, but there we can see it's all the way on. Now I'm going to pull it back a bit because I want to put the belt on because I am going to, so there the belt is on and that's all I'm going to do with the belt for now. I just wanted it in the correct position for when I put this on and that is snug 
and flush and correct. The next thing to go on is the the washer and this washer it has the protrusions they you know they're protruding these tabs are going that way when I'm facing it that way so those tabs want to be facing in towards the machine I'll show you what I mean all right I have the the wheel here and I'm going to try and get this on. I'm not even sure if it's facing the right way, but I think it is. But let me just try this. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. If I can get it on, that's it's on. Nice. Now there's a, in that stud, that circular stud right there that I'm pointing at, right where that set screw is, there's a ground out Pivot. There's a ground out lower portion, and that's where that set screw has to be in order to seat correctly. I think it's there because the device is now flush with my thumb, which is flush with the outer edge of the shaft. So let's go with that for now. Let me turn that. Okay, it hasn't seated yet because it's still fluid. I think I just feel the edge of it when I put it in. Let's try that. There. It's not tightened yet, but it's in the groove where it is in the correct position. So I will tighten that now. There. So that is perfect. The motor is connected to the hand wheel. Now I'm going to get the washer. Let me move some of my tools. I'm gathering up them here recently obviously and what I have here now of course is the, the washer and uh, we've already established that these tabs those tabs are innies and what I mean is they go in they face in they're not outies they don't stick out like that they face in like that and I've tested this and I'm pretty sure that's correct but we're going to test it again live here at Jeb Adams in a minute. It's righty tidy and loosey lefty, lefty loosey righty tidy. So it's correct. It's a correct thread. It's not a reverse thread. And and that screw is what moves the, the washer back and forth. So so there we have power. Can we see that? I think you guys can see that. Down there maybe hopefully. And the needle bar is moving. Let me turn it just a tad. So there you can see it's moving. And that's with it in that position. Now I'm going to turn it, and it's somewhat a loose position. And now when you look at the needle bar, it's stationary for the bobbin winder. But that's correct. And then if I move it over to the left again, to the right again, it's righty-tighty, tighty-righty. Then we have, then we got action on the needle bar and the horizontal arm shaft. So that's our test. That's done correctly. So now I can, uh, I've tightened up that. That is tight. That is all solid. That's solid from last video when we uh, redid that, renovated that. So now I'm going to put the cover on, and the cover screw is right here, the end cover. Now there's another, oh, there's the other screw there. I've got to take that screw out, so that's for the bottom of the cover. That's good enough right there. And then we'll get this one up here, and we'll go to gen gentle snug with it. Barely we do that. So it's great to have you guys, gals and guys along, and I really enjoy this. Now looking at this end cover, you can see the electrical information uh, sticker or whatever, it's gone. And that's snugged up. This one's snugging up now because it got loose as we snugged up the other one up there. There's still plenty of snug here. So that one's snug and that one's snug. Now, let me get that bobbin winder guy. Now this should have gone on here before I put that on. That's my mistake. Nice and smooth. There comes the washer. See, now I have the thing on there. I'm going to have to take that off too. I just did a great job. I'm going to get some oil on that baby well. Right here. I'll get this one out. There. There. That washer is down there. And I want to put the bobbin winder in there, but 
I've got the belt on and the bobbin winder has to go in there so I've got the screw and the washer there with all the other parts. Now it was really finicky but I did get the bobbin winder on and it's right there but I haven't tightened it yet. I have to get the washer, get moving along here. Gals and guys have machines to store. So that's going on as according to Hoyle. Yeah, and that's still, even though it's snug because of that washer, it still goes back and forth. And now, so we'll put that on, and we know already that this hand wheel has to go right flush with that ridge up there. So let's, and you know what, it's going on so nice and smooth because we cleaned it and greased it. Where's the, here, let me reposition this. So, where is it? Here it is here. And on it goes. That's the way to do it. That's very simple. And now we're feeling with our little screw there on our finger, our fingers, for that ground. Is that enough? It is. So it should just be a third of a turn and it should, there now it's feeling like it's in that groove, in between the walls of the groove, which is where we want it. There. That's tight. See that? <laughs> Practice makes perfect, right? Okay, he's off. See that, boys and girls? Right there, there's the wheel. Okay, there we go. That's better. The belt was getting a little, little hung up there. So that can go there. Now I'll get the bottom wheel. There we go, that's good. Now let's get the lock washer. So Nitty, let's go on in. Is that as far as I want it to go? I think so. Ouch! I hit my little tongue. Okay, the innies are in. There, I got it. Yes, my friends. Let's check it out again. Turn it to the right. It sews. Guys are. Turn it to the left. No sew. Working as intended. Correctly replaced this far. Okay, we'll get the end cover screw screws tightened up here. Obviously, we got a long way to go. The top one, too. The electrical information plate never was with this machine, I don't believe. I never saw it. So, there we have the bobbin winder and the hand wheel back. We had removed it and we replaced it. We also did the stitch length regulator lever. Alrighty. So, I've got the lid back in place and I'm just putting the screws in. That one's started. Let's get this one started. That's all we need there for now on that one. Now we've got that one in. So there, we got the hand wheel and the bobbin winder and the stitch length regulator lever all removed and replaced. So they've been cleaned and lubricated. And uh, what a great learning experience it was for, for us, for me anyway, and I'm sure for some of you. I know that some of you have a lot more experience than I do, but uh, thank you for being here anyway. And uh, you know, I always like to play the funny man. Don't buy me a beer, don't buy me a coffee. Please subscribe, I need all the help I can get. Merci beaucoup, muchas gracias, amigas, amigos.